Snowflake is a story about what happens when you don't live in your truth and how painful it can be when you don't follow your heart. Claire's a woman who lives within defined lines and can't fully follow her heart because of perception. Um, what attracted me to the script was the pain of not living in one's truth. Uh, it really, really struck a chord in me, and I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a theme that most people can understand because there's been moments in all of our lives where we're not in our truth. And for me, it's a, it's a personal value to just live as honestly and in the most integrity. And when I, when I don't experience that, it, I, I find it to be extremely painful. And when I see other people not living in their truth, it, it's something that has always disturbed me deeply. I, it was incredible, a wonderful experience. I adore him, and he, um, yeah, you know, it was really, it was really wonderful because there was a lot of freedom in it, especially because we developed a relationship many years ago. I met Francesco at the Venice Film Festival ten years ago. I was there with my film Eros, that was directed by Steven Soderbergh. Francesco came up to me and he told me what a big fan he was of my work, and knew some of the more obscure work that I had done. <laughs> And um, he said, we're gonna work together one day. And I said, okay, bring me a script. And he did, it just took us nine years and here we are. Oh, she's wonderful. She's very, very sensitive as an actress and um, uh, she has a beautiful inner life and it was easy to fall in love with her. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've, so far we've been to Italy we're going to Germany next week. Um, we were at Holly Shorts in LA, and right now we're in Palm Springs at Cinema Diverse. This has been our most favorite festival. They're incredibly organized and kind, and they've been incredibly generous with us. We've met the nicest people, most genuinely enthusiastic, passionate film enthusiasts, and it, it's just been a beautiful experience all around. We've had the most amazing weekend with them and our film was received with a lot of love and support and we would be more than thrilled to come back. We're also going to San Pedro. We'll be in, we're at the San Pedro Film Festival coming up uh, in October. Okay, we almost got kicked out of our apartment that was being um, rented through Airbnb because um, somebody in the building was complaining about the, the noise. So um, we're really lucky we were actually able to finish the film. Okay, um, well, I, I, it's a little bit of a hush-hush, but I am in Insidious 3, and I shot that last month, and we should be out in the spring. And all I can say about that is that it was a very positive experience, and I think that fans are going to be really excited and surprised to see what we have in store for them. What can I say about Insidious 3? Uh, you're in for a real fun ride, I can tell you that. Um, I can tell you that there were moments that were actually terrifying for me to read the script, and that there is a very sweet relationship between everyone on set. We really had a blast. I had an incredible time. I loved Lee, who's the writer-director and also is in it, and Stephanie Scott, who is just totally an, a luminous angel. Everybody was really sweet. Angus is a blast, and um, I just had a really, really good time with everybody. And let's just say there's some really amazing surprises coming your way, and you will be on the edge of your seat. Lynn is an incredible and sensitive actress and very deep and every take I would look at her and she would look at me and ah, man, my heart was just burst wide open. I love that woman. You're gonna have, you're gonna have to watch the film and find out, aren't you? I love little Miss Stephanie Scott. She's adorable, amazing, she's an angel, she's a hard worker. Um, she's a very committed, kind, and open actress, and I adore her. I hear that horror fans are the most loyal, and I would like to be loyal to them as well, and also by not blowing it for them.
I love uh, crystals and jewelry. I love connecting with people. Um, I'm super, super passionate about making wonderful films that make a difference for people and touch their hearts. And I love to cook. I love the farmer's market. I love natural beauty. I'm very passionate about uh, I'm very passionate about kissing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, so I have, I've been designing jewelry for 10 years and I opened up a shop about a year ago called Ellie Keats Jewelry. Here's some of the pieces that I'm wearing. Um, this is an emerald. It's, I call this the naked drop necklace. This is my divinity, mm -hmm. which was the first piece that started me off. And this is my abundance necklace. I'm all about helping people create abundance and love. And I feel that we, when we have abundance and we have love, we basically have everything. And it, in abundance, not necessarily meaning financial abundance, but abundance of, of friends, of food, of joy, uh, abundance of, of laughter. We had a whole abundance of laughter yesterday. We went to the water park at Wet and Wild in Palm Springs, and I was laughing so hard that my face felt like it was gonna fall off, and that was a real expression of abundance for me. A very good film. My favorite film I've seen at the festival is called True Love, and that's T-R-U, Love. And it's a story, an unlikely love story between two wonderful women on their journey in life and how they come together through an accident or let's say not such, a, such an accident. And it really, really touched me. There was many moments in the, in the movie where I was just streaming. And that's tears, <laughs> not video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a song I love right now. Um, Get to Work, Bitch by Britney Spears. That's sort of my theme. I love it because it's sort of like an answer to all those rap songs and all the songs where women are like, you know what, what are you gonna do for me? Show me, show me the money, like all of that, that women, that we can empower ourselves. We can do it for ourselves. We don't need a guy to buy something for us and we're not helpless and um, and I think it's really important that women empower themselves it's it's actually one of the most important things you asked me what I'm passionate about I'm, I'm passionate about women empowering themselves to follow their hearts and follow their dreams and I think that's what drew me to snowflake so much is that it's about a woman who is following her career path and what looks good but she's not necessarily following her heart and what a humongous humongous cost that is to not follow your heart